Okay. The final speaker is Laura McIntyre, and her topic is, is the recall. Thank you very much for your time. Um, first of all, I would like to say that I'm not here to condemn anybody. I'm only here to speak for the citizens that came out to vote on, on the um, domestic partner benefits. I'd like to read something that George Washington said September 17, 1796 in his farewell address um, in counter to the gentleman who spoke last week about morality and religion being separate. Of all the dispositions and habits which lead to political prosperity, religion and morality are indispensable supports. In vain would that man claim the tribute of patriotism, who should labor to subvert these great pillars of human happiness. The mere politician ought to respect and to cherish them. A volume could not trace all their connections with private and public felicity. Let it simply be asked, where is the security for property, for reputation, for life, if the sense of religious obligation desert? And let us with caution indulge the supposition that morality can be maintained without religion. Whatever may be conceded to the influence of refined education on minds, reason and experience both forbid us to expect that national morality can prevail in exclusion of religious principle. I would like to say that I'm very upset about my vote being overturned by the city council and the mayor. Our, uh, in a few points that I'd like to make, everybody's upset about the expense of a vote. I would like to say that our founding fathers paid with their lives so that we could each have a vote and a say in our government. When we elect city officials, we do expect them to go along with the popular vote, even though they may have more power to do otherwise. Uh, the price of freedom. Uh, in, a, in the United States, we have freedom like no other country in the world. If you start taking that freedom away from the popular vote of the people, our freedom will be eroded. No matter what side you're on, you still want freedom in America. Radical. Our founding fathers were called radical. In fact, when they signed the Declaration of Independence, they signed it knowing that they could be hanged by the British government if the revolution was not won. Radical? We might be radical, but it's only because we want to fight for what our founding fathers died for. I want to give something to my children. I want them to know that when they go and vote, their vote matters. 